From homes across Kahana, this is a special edition of Living Room Lincoln Live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Living Room Lincoln Live. I'm Dominic Spradlin. And I'm Chris Siegel. How you been holding up, Dominic? I've been holding up pretty well. How about yourself? Uh, you know, the first week I was, this was kind of hitting me hard, but after that, I'm just getting more used to it, and it's kind of just flowing normally now. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Same for me. Uh, hopefully all of our students and parents check their Google Classroom on Friday to see the new class schedule for distance learning. Yeah, it's a great way to improve learning while we're away from school. Each class now has a specific day for instruction, so students need to check Google Classroom on those days for that week's assignments. This will help clear up confusion and students feeling overwhelmed by distance learning. So make sure you check your schedule. We have another big announcement that affects all of our seniors. The district has set Saturday, July 25th as an alternative graduation date in case the original May 23rd ceremony cannot be held. So make sure you also mark July 25th at 9 a.m. on your calendar. Graduation on July 25th would also be held at Ohio State. It's been difficult to remain optimistic during this time, but the Ohio High School Athletic Association is definitely doing what they can to remain optimistic. And that includes a recent announcement they made regarding spring sports. Here's Athletic Director Ms. Harris to tell us about it. On April 8th, the OHSAA released an update regarding spring sports and provided a modified schedule for the spring should we return back to school. There will be an acclimation period from May 4th to May 8th, with the season officially beginning on May 9th. For most teams, tournament play will begin at the end of May, with the season concluding at the end of June. The OCC is finalizing playing dates and matchups as well. However, if school is closed for the remainder of the year, then spring sports will be canceled in the state of Ohio. But for now, we are planning to continue with spring sports starting back on May 4th. The no contact period is still in place until May 1st. No group workouts or practices can take place during this time still, but individual workouts are encouraged. During these uncertain times, without school, sports, and other activities, I commend all of our students and staff for staying active, engaged, and keeping a positive mindset. We are Lions, and we are in this together. Also, just a quick shout out to Lincoln Live for still producing shows during the school shutdown. You are part of the glue that is keeping all of us together. Thank you, and go Lions. Thanks, Ms. Harris. That's very nice of you to say. Fall sports teams are already preparing for next season. Our football team has found a way to combine social media with their workouts. Here's Joey Butts to tell us how. With us being on quarantine, it's hard to maintain routine. Sleep schedules are messed up, schoolwork feels different. But one thing that hasn't changed is the football team putting their work in at home. So the maintenance day workouts or at home workouts just anyone can do is something when we don't have access to a weight room at the school. It's just what you can do at home to kind of stay in shape and keep building muscle and getting ready for the upcoming season. Coach Emerson has given these players a wide range of workouts. Hi, um, I'm Cam Baker. I play football and I run track and I'm a sophomore. Uh, the workouts I've been doing recently are I've been doing workouts done by Coach Emerson and Gehanna football out on Twitter. And we've basically been doing that and posting ourselves out there so we can show everyone that we're doing it, being accountable. Um, just been doing like a lot of push-ups, sit-ups, abs, cardio, a lot of that, shoulders, whatever it may be. And then also on top of that, also, benching, squatting, front squatting, incline, whatever you can think of. If you want to follow along with these players and work out from home, Coach Emerson posts them all on Twitter, so go check them out. This is Joey Butts reporting for Lincoln Live. Chances are you've probably seen or heard Governor DeWine's daily press conferences. Some members of our TV and Intro to TV classes recorded selfie videos urging other students to stay home during this pandemic. Yeah, and students from other schools joined in as well. Four Lincoln students were shown at one of the Governor's press conferences. Here it is. To close, we have a video that highlights our hashtag stay at home Ohio effort. This features students from Gahanna Lincoln High School, Franklin County, Marion L. Steele High School, also called Amber Steele High School in Lorraine County, and the Olentangy Orange High School in Delaware County. So let's uh, let them tell us why they're staying at home. By staying home, I'm keeping myself safe and my family safe as well. The reason why I'm staying at home is so we can reduce the amount of people needing to go to the hospital and so our healthcare workers are not overworked, and so we can flatten the curve to reduce the amount of deaths due to the corona, and so we can get back to our normal life as quick as possible. My mom has asthma and thyroid cancer, which puts her at higher risk of getting the coronavirus. 
Please stay home and keep us all safe. I am staying home so I do not risk getting other people sick and so we can get back to normal quicker. I am staying home because if we take action now, a better future will come much faster. And we need to protect those who are more susceptible to the virus. That was great. One of the main focuses of the governor's press conferences are to stress the importance of social distancing. That's what we are all doing by not being in school. Our Michael Liebes takes a look at some of the things students can do while practicing social distancing at home. Here's Michael. This is a stay-at-home order, essential business order, and it will extend till May 1st. Uh, this coincides uh, with what we have done in regard to our school. COVID-19 is a very serious pandemic in the world right now. However, there are ways that we can decrease the chance of getting the coronavirus as well as slow the spread of COVID-19. First, one of the most important things is to stay at home. It's very important that we only leave the house for essential things and that we cut unnecessary trips. For example, having groceries delivered to your house rather than going to the store is a smart thing to do to ensure that you're safe. Secondly, it's important to wash your hands with soap regularly for 20 seconds and avoid contact with your face, eyes, nose, and mouth if your hands aren't completely clean. Also, out in public, doing simple things such as covering your coughs and sneezes, as well as wearing gloves and a mask, can help ensure the safety of yourself and others. If everyone does their part, we can slow the spread of COVID-19. This is Michael Liebes for Lincoln Live. Thanks, Michael. The stay-at-home order has definitely been tough, but it has also spurred creativity. Here's one example. This is a surprise 18th birthday party for senior Vaden Mallon. Her friends and family waited in their cars at proper social distance in the parking lot at Stony Brook United Methodist Church and waited for her to arrive so they could celebrate. Here it is. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> it's definitely different having a birthday in quarantine. Um, for my friends and I, uh, we did video calls and then I was texting with people pretty much all day in order to maintain the social distancing regulations. I was very fortunate. My friends threw a surprise social distancing party for me where we maintained the social distancing guidelines, but I was able to actually see them face to face and celebrate with them. Thanks and happy birthday, Vaden. It's accurate to say that our own Nathan Minzler has way too much time on his hands. How much time? Enough time to come up with an amazing top five list. What is it? Here's Nathan. Hello, my name is Nathan Minzler, and today I will be sharing with you the top five cereals that I found through surveying about 150 students. So coming in at number five is Cheerios. With a total of 10 votes, uh, this included every single type of Cheerio you can think of. So chocolate, multigrain, honey nut, regular, it's all underneath here. Coming in at number four is Lucky Charms also with 10 votes. Reason why it's number four and not number five is because this includes only one type of cereal when Cheerios is many different flavors. Uh, number three is Frosted Flakes with 11 votes. Personally, I think Frosted Flakes is pretty good, but I think, you know, Lucky Charm should be better. Coming in at number two is Captain Crunch with 16 votes. Captain Crunch, personally, I haven't had it in forever, but still a pretty good cereal. Coming in at number one with a whopping 30 votes is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, easily an S-tier cereal just because of how the milk tastes after you're done eating the cereal. Now, if you have any questions or concerns over this presentation slash demonstration, I don't really know what to call it, uh, please email me at 20minslern at gjps.org. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Nathan. Cinnamon Toast Crunch definitely has my number one spot as well. I gotta say Lucky Charms all the way. Well, that's all for today's edition of Living Room Lincoln Live. And as we do on every show, we'd like to close it out with some words for, of encouragement from our teachers. Thanks for watching. Bye, Lincoln. I just wanted to tell you guys you're doing an awesome job. Absolutely amazing. This distance learning stuff is tough. It's hard for all of us, but you guys are doing an amazing job. Missing you incredibly. Hope you're keeping safe and um, staying well and hope to see you soon. Students and staff, I miss each and every one of you. This too shall pass. Be patient, keep your faith, 
and make sure you're six feet apart. Miss each and every one of you every day. And I wanted to say that I think you're competent and you're going to be able to handle this new challenge. My advice to you is to be mindful in the moment, um, pay attention to everything you're doing, and self-care is so important right now, so make sure you're taking care of yourself. Hello everyone, it's Coach Amerson, Miss Amerson. Hey! Araya and Amario. We're out just enjoying this nice day, getting a little 10 mile bike ride, and just enjoying the sun. We finished our hours of distance learning, now we're out here getting our endorphins up and taking in a little history. Hey! Did you know that the Alum Creek was a part of the um, Underground Railroad? 58 miles run south to north, helping slaves get to freedom. Well, that's amazing. History and athletics. Go Lions. Keep those endorphins up. Joy is a choice. <laughs>